originally when I first was referred to Homestar it was for support with going out because I have a condition called agoraphobia and it was about getting out and doing things like a normal person but then the second time since I have had Heather it's been more like um, support about positive minds and things like that and she's been helping me with the CAF program that we're on mm -hmm. and we're also introduced a certificate scheme for Mackenzie at school so he's getting certificates when he's got 100% attendance for a week. I think it's extremely important to have a good relationship with your volunteers because by me being able to get to know them, I can roughly guess what kind of family they'll be suited to because when I go out and do the initial visits with the family, obviously you get, kind of get to know the family a little bit, get to know mum or dad's personality um, and I kind of go off that then thinking, right, I think this volunteer will fit because they're a similar age, they've got a similar interest or the children are a similar age or this particular family might be craving like an older volunteer so I'll think right who's in my older section of the volunteers and again they might want that more of a like a grandparent kind of feel so yeah it does help to get to know them. I've been with Homestart for about two years now they've done everything that they possibly can for me if I've had any questions about what to do financially or with childcare or even just with my own personal problems. They've been there as a support um, for me to rely on. I came to the home start because I started to feel a bit low when I had the babies and there was a lot of things going on at the moment and I was quite vulnerable at the time. And I've been advised to have some support from the home start, which was very, very good for me, which helped me in the different ways. The lady we've been giving me, Nicola, She's an amazing lady, she has a very good heart. She's a person you can speak to without afraid of telepaints because she don't see you as a low person or from another class. She sees you as the same level than her. And with the help from the home start, I can start put my own steps, one by one, build my self-esteem back, which was very good. I got the job of doing family group support worker. So I, I did that and then Shirley followed after a year, didn't Shirley? I did. And now we're the terrible twosome working in my science. Yeah. <laughs> but we enjoyed it ten years ago. Yeah. Volunteer. And I started twelve years ago yeah. as a volunteer. <laughs> well, we've done the groups and then we've gone on to do the crashes. And then this morning we're doing the uh, the new holiday food club, which has been going quite yeah. well, hasn't it? Mm. You've been food very fun. busy. It's really eating with the friends, isn't it, really? It's a social gathering. Um, my name's Sue, um, and I'm our pick lead, and our pick lead is person in crisis. And we work with families who have got immediate needs that we feel that we can meet, because sometimes having a volunteer doesn't always... It, sometimes the level of need of the families is too high to, for a volunteer to support at that point. So we can do some work first, and then they can be supported by a volunteer, by our home visiting service. Sometimes they continue going to our groups as well. So I'll do a drop-in on a Tuesday morning, and that drop-in is from 10 till 12, and families are invited to come in, they can get breakfast, they can get a brew. We've got two volunteers now from the drop-in, who have been people in crisis themselves, worked through a programme with us, and are now becoming our um, people in crisis volunteers. Before I started home, I very rarely left my house, so now to be able to go out and just do normal things like go shopping, it's actually really nice. And I'm disabled and I've had to rely heavily on Homestar and my volunteer Pat has been there for us, the entire family. She comes and supports me in the home and she's there for a shoulder to cry on. Last week for example we went fruit picking and I wouldn't have been able to do that without another adult there because I have four young children, the eldest is ADHD and Asperger's so it's a lot of work. Um, especially when I struggle to walk. So I wouldn't have been able to do anything like that with the kids if it weren't for the volunteers and home start really. My name's Jacqueline Rhodes and I'm a coordinator for Home Start Blackpool Fylde and Wyatt. 
Big Hopes Big Future is a project that we've been running in the Blackpool area for about 18 months and it's based on a school readiness programme. Focuses on what the child, along with the parents and family support, need to be able to do to function at school and to be happy at school. This enables our parents to be aware of where they can get support and help prior to their children starting school. Due to the success of that, it has been rolled out to many Home Start projects throughout the UK. Got on a child in need plan and they wanted some support put in place for me with all my mental illnesses. They wanted to make sure that there was as much support in place as possible for me. It was me that said Home Start. Home Start yeah. was there last year. Let's go back to Home Start. Yeah. So I'm Anne and this is Ashia and we're part of the East Lancashire Community Genetics team. One of our best assets is the fact that we work in the community, like in, in, right in the community. So we're helping families who uh, have genetic conditions who find, for whatever reason, are not accessing genetic services or hard to reach families. We're trying to reach them and help them through the journey which can sometimes be quite confusing for families or scary. Home Start refer families into us and then when we go and see families and we think they need extra support, we refer into Home Start. I'm Leslie, I work for Home Start, Pendle and Ribble Valley. I'm currently a project support worker but I initially started as a volunteer with them and I do take on the more complex cases. My work can range from going to court with really um, difficult family matters to going into somebody's home and helping the child with homework. Both my children are really, really strong, independent, you know, which I know it sounds daft, but I wasn't when I started home start. So for them to be so much more independent and much, so much stronger than I was is really, really amazing. I think because so much funding has been taken away locally and nationally and families are struggling and young families need that extra support and often having young children it's a life changing experience for them and to know that as mothers and parents that they're doing a really good job. I've been a volunteer now for 11 years. I started being a volunteer when my husband died and I have a lot of time. I enjoy being a volunteer because it's very satisfying helping people and getting to know the children and it's great when you knock on somebody's door and all the children come running to you. Rebecca who's here today is one of my families and she's not been very well so we've had quite a lot of support. I see her every week and it's very good to help other people with all sorts of things. New Beginnings is a support centre we have for victims of domestic violence. They can come and talk to other victims that have suffered it and they know that they're not on their own. Children need to be able to play and share with other children. At Home Start we have various resources we can use to help children with play and activities. One of them we have is uh, a story sack. Within them there's a story book, which this one's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. There's Goldilocks, there's a book, there's um, matching games, and we take those out to children that don't like doing homework or just need a bit of extra activity in their life. And we play these games and they, they don't know they're doing work then. I think they're still playing and we're not. We're, we're actually getting them to learn. There's no words in this world who can describe Nicola. She's a lovely, lovely lady. Homestart's an invaluable resource in the community. Uh, there isn't anything like it um, around, especially since uh, children's centres are doing a lot less now for to support parents. If anyone else is thinking about doing home store, gets the opportunity and they're really nervous, the only thing I'm ever gonna say is go for it. And if it's somebody's watching that thinks, oh, maybe I've got a certain amount of hours a week that 
I could volunteer, do it because whichever way you do it as a volunteer or as somebody who needs the help, you're going to gain a lot of experience from it. She was kind, she helped tidy up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the support they gave me and my family as well. Thank you guys. It's a wonderful experience, it really is.